So tonight we're at Lehigh Valley Coca-Cola Park, home of the Iron Pigs, AAA affiliate of the Phillies. Tonight, I'm here to do an interview for D with Dylan Cousins. Dylan Cousins and I actually became friends like two years ago. Um, he actually came up, talked to my one friend. I asked him for a picture another night. Uh, then we just started talking. We got his Snapchat, you know. So now we do meetups almost every time I come here. So we'll see how it ends up tonight. We got our questions ready. We got a full interview tonight. Right now, right, with the so off-face Stanley Hudson t-shirt, or Schneider left for something better, and what's in the middle of the game? Boxes, How about that? What would you um, like to do? It's, it's all right, because, you know, we go through all this. Are you sure? Uh, this is a pretty nice t-shirt. This, uh, this is us meeting up. All right, she wants to try for no, a box. So would yeah. you like box number one, no. the smaller box? I'm it's time. It's time. We got Darren right here. The man. He wants to show us everything. We got Parker right here. Yeah. Supposed Where to be in there. guess you guys didn't know. The There's back. Dylan Cousins, the guy that you saw before. We got, oh, that's not that's not our group. This is We need one more out. One more out. One Go more down out. there. We're going to interview Cousins. It's going. Okay, by the way, we got, uh, this, we got Kevin. We got Jake. We got uh, Parker back in the battery. Hunter, the man from Michigan. Oh, yeah. The man from Michigan. Look at him smile. And then Darren's still there. Okay. All right, so right now we're just letting people clear out. Um, he's going to come back out and we're going to do the interview. So you messed him personally. Yeah, we messed him. We messed him. We'll let people clear out. We'll go. We'll dug out. With uh, Dylan Cousins, a prospect for the Phillies. He's uh, a, an outfielder for the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Uh, we're going to do a quick interview. Uh, when did you realize that you want to play baseball professionally? Uh, probably when I was in Little League. All right, awesome. Uh, you were drafted right out of high school by the Phillies. Uh, how, how difficult was it to leave Arizona and come play on the East Coast with the Phillies? Um, first couple of years were in Florida with, with rookie ball, so that wasn't too bad. It was, it was hot, but I'm used to the heat from being from yeah. Arizona, but the humidity was the one thing that was a little bit different, but, uh. Then playing in uh, like Pennsylvania and Williamsport was definitely a little yeah. a little weird, kind of a different culture. Uh, I mean, you're still young, being out of high school, so you don't really know what it's like to live on your own and stuff. And then being in a different state, pay rent, stuff like that. So it was definitely kind of weird. Did you ever miss home or like your parents or anything? Yeah, uh, I feel like every baseball player that yeah. that gets drafted out of high school and has to go off on their own for the first time is it's kind of like a a little shocking and uh it's definitely an adjustment to make but uh the longer you do it you end up getting used to it all right uh is it true that you were verbally committed to arizona to play football yep. Did, uh how difficult was it to turn that down and uh join the phillies uh not that difficult i had uh a number in mind of what i wanted to sign for to to walk away from school and football uh and got picked in the second round got enough money so i was I was pretty happy with the decision. All right. Uh, so last year you had your first chance to play in the majors, 26 games actually. Uh, how, what was that feeling like to actually make it to the show? Uh, it was a great feeling. Uh, made it to the big leagues due to one of my teammates getting hurt, which was uh, unfortunate. You, you ideally don't want to make it that way, in, in yeah. my opinion. I'd like to, you know, earn a, earn a call up due to, you know, just balling out, raking, but yeah. – uh, you know, unfortunate series of events for one of my teammates led to me getting called up, which was great. But uh, went up there, had a blast, learned a lot, and uh, being in the big leagues is awesome. All right. Uh, after being up there, what have you been trying to improve to actually make it back up and stay up there, hopefully? Uh, just be an all-around better player, mostly at the plate, be a more yeah. polished hitter and strike out less, walk more hit 300 plus <laughs> get more hits uh better situational hitting stuff like that all right um well in any sport that you play but baseball i feel like baseball especially there's a lot of people who heckle how do you how do you deal with those people how do you eventually just ignore them brush them off just you know how do you do that i usually enjoy kind of talking to them and giving it back to them a little bit yeah. uh i don't like to just sit there and 
and get heckled all game. I'll, I'll usually try to see who's doing it and then see if I can find something about them to make fun of. Yeah. So I'll try to give back a little bit. Yeah, I'll just have fun. a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so far this season, you're batting 188. Uh, throughout, though, might say that that's not very good. Through 48 at bats, you have 11 RBIs, five home runs. Do you believe that you're, you're being judged correctly through by the critics? Like, do you think they're saying the right stuff, even uh, though you're, you're batting under 200? I don't know what they're saying or who they oh, okay. are. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, yeah, not off to a, a great start yeah. average-wise. Uh, power's there. Yeah, do you Walks believe, are definitely there. Uh, actually, follow up. Do you believe you're a big power bat in, the, in this lineup? Do, would you consider yourself a power bat or like more of a uh, contact hitter like in the <laughs> lineup? Uh, definitely uh, a power bat. Yeah. It's, yeah. Definitely not a, a contact hitter yeah. yet. I'm trying to be. Working on it. Yeah. Uh, so last season you ended with 124 strikeouts. The season before you had, actually had 194. Uh, following those stats... Following that, this season will most likely be less than last season. Following the pattern, um, how do you work? How do you work on striking out less? How do you improve on that? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of different ways. It's it's different. Every, everybody's different. Everybody's a different hitter. Uh, there's guys that just have a hard time, you know, consistently putting the ball in play. And usually it's power guys. And if it's not power guys, then usually they're not around the game for very long. But uh, just a lot of a lot of it's uh, approach, learning how they're going to pitch you. Sometimes it's it's swing path. Sometimes it's looking for the wrong pitches to hit. Uh, and, and a lot of the times it's fouling the pitch off that you were supposed to hit and getting into that one-two count, that o two count, that really nobody in baseball performs well in. So. I'd say that's probably probably the the gist of it. All right. Um, so assuming you get your shot again this year in the majors, what do you hope to improve on? Like, what do you hope to make your mark on when you're up there? Really everything. I feel like I when I was in the big leagues, I didn't really play a lot. I I only had a couple starts. A lot of it was like a pinch hit at bat every three four days or so. So just trying to do anything I can to make my way into the starting lineup because I feel like if I play every day uh, I'm going to succeed and put up good numbers especially power numbers and drive guys in also play solid defense and run the base as well alright um, do you still keep in contact with Reese Hoskins like are you guys still close friends do you does he, considering he's up in the majors <coughs> does he give you tips to try and get you back up there do you guys try and keep a close connection because uh, I know you were big friends down here I, I mean yeah I mean, we're, we're definitely still friends. Yeah. Uh, we don't, like, talk to each other on a daily basis or yeah. anything. But uh, he's, he's up there doing his thing, and I'm trying to get up there as well and, and do what he's doing, All right. you know? Yeah. So All definitely right. uh, still friends, though, for All sure. Right. Uh, what advice do you actually have for kids in high school like me that actually want to pursue, like, a baseball career? Work hard, uh, lift weights, and say the weight room's going to separate a lot of guys uh, and, and all comes down to just how much time you're willing to put in into the practicing and getting better it's hard to say no to hanging out with friends and going and doing fun stuff that your friends want to do and say you're like you know what I got to practice or I got to do this it's just choosing to, to work and get better over uh, a lot of stuff that you might rather be doing which is a tough decision but just depends how bad you want it all right uh, one last question I actually had the cousin's dog tonight. Have you had it yet? I have not. Uh, I was good? I was gonna say I was gonna ask you if it was good. I thought it was good. You thought it was yeah, good? Yeah, I thought it was good. That's yeah, that's good. It's real. It's real good. Yeah. That's good. So you got something. Got something good <laughs> named after you. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. No problem. Yeah.